Um, I'm Professor Susan Rose Ackerman. I'm a, the Henry R. Luce uh, Professor of Law and Political, Scientist, uh, Political Science uh, Emeritus and a professorial lecturer in the Yale uh, Law School where I'm still teaching part time. Um, as you know, I've done quite a lot of work on, on the political economy of corruption over the last 30, 40 years uh, and where Latin America has been one of the cases I've, I've, I've looked at. Um, more recently, I specifically was interested in the recent uh, corruption uh, scandals in, in Brazil, particularly involving uh, Odebrecht and the, um, and the special uh, collaboration between Brazil and the United States Department of Justice and the, and the, and the Swiss. Um, so the important question for me was, what is it about the Brazilian situation that, that led to um, some of this corruption? other than just simply people being greedy for money, right? Um, so the thing that I've focused on particularly was the, um, was the uh, political uh, system uh, where uh, one of the weaknesses of the Brazilian political system is the large number of political parties that you have so that it's very difficult to, um, to govern in the, uh, in, the, in, in the parliament in relationship to the president. So this led to incentives to, to make payoffs uh, from the from the from the government to um, some of the parties uh, to get them to agree. So illegal payoffs, rather than trying to negotiate over uh, uh, something, um, uh, to come to an agreement, there were there were payoffs made. So where was the money going to come from? Um, one place it could come from was big contracts uh, with uh, with a large firm like Odebrecht uh, in connection with the oil uh, developments in um, in Brazil. Um, so I think there's, in other words, the basic point is it's not just a, a problem of people being uh, greedy on, on, on both sides, although that's a part of it, but it's that there's structure or structural reasons in the political organization of Brazil that have produced some of these, these, these incentives uh, which uh, uh, apply more, more generally. Um, the, the, uh, and that shows up both in, particularly in the in the book chapter uh, that uh, I wrote with Raquel uh, Pimenta uh, in, a, in, a collect, in, a, in a collected volume edited by Paul Gunas and, and Jan Sevenger, uh, particularly on the Lava Jato uh, cases. Well, I think there are two kinds of things, and I, I, would, hesit I would emphasize that I am not a, a detailed an expert on all the details of the Brazilian case but some general things to think about. I think there's one thing has to do with the procurement system, uh, how transparent and open is the procurement, is, is information about public procurement uh, to available to, uh, to civil society, to people who want to, to try to uh, point out uh, problems. Uh, is, that, is, that easy to, is it easy to be a watchdog either through the media or through, or through civil society? Um, and secondly, um, a examination of the ease of creating political parties. Of course, there should be a competition between political parties. See, we don't, not, I'm not recommending the opposite situation of a you know a single party like the old uh, PRI in, in, in Mexico, um, but um, some more restrictions on the on the formation, the ability of, of parties to get representation in in, uh, in, in parliament. Um, that doesn't that, that limits the the incentive to uh, to create a party uh, just as a kind of very personalized uh, reflection of, of 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 somebody, and it's those sorts of reforms that I think are are are, are important um, to reduce the structural incentives uh, for uh, for for corruption becoming part of the way uh, uh, the political system operates. Well, uh, the, the particular uh, institution I've worked with is the, uh, the uh, FJV, the, the Foundation Julio Vargas, both in, in, in Sao Paulo uh, and in, in, in Rio. Um, uh, when, the, when the law faculty opened in FJV in Sao Paulo, I was part of an, a, a conference, that, an, an initial organizing conference when that, when that institution got started. And I've, I've stayed connected with them 
I visited Brazil during the Olympics. I didn't I didn't go to the Olympics. I was giving talks in in Sao Paulo and in Rio that was were basically organized by um, by by FJV and by um, some people at the University of Brasilia um, as, as as well. So uh, so I've I've kept up a good connection with with uh, with particularly FJV over over time and with some of the individual uh, people there. Uh, my co-author. Uh, Raquel Pimenta was uh, was a visiting scholar uh, at Yale and um, sat in on a on a class of mine, and so we worked together pretty closely, uh, very closely on that on that on that article. And I've certainly stayed in touch with her, and she's now teaching teaching at FGV. So so that's that's the institution I, I have the I have the closest relationship with. Although we've also had, I mean, Yale Law School uh, gets wonderful students from Brazil. We've had great students over the last uh, last several years. Um, and so, um, so I, I'm, that's another piece of my connection is through those, through those students in, a diff in addition to Raquel.